So here we get a more general picture where we have two functions, g and f, and uh, we see sometimes uh, g is larger than f, and other, and, uh, other moments f is larger than, than g. So if we want to calculate the surface area enclosed by the graphs g and f in between the lines axis a and axis b, we have to calculate the pieces a1, a2, and a3. And a1, we see that uh, the function g is the upper function, so we get as a first piece, if we know that um, the graphs of the functions intersect for the value c, then we see that a1 is given, the area, uh, surface area, a1 is given by the definite integral a to c of gx minus fx. Yeah, since g is the higher, gives the higher values of the two g and f. Well, similarly in A2 we see that um, A2 equals the definite integral from C to D, where D is the right intersection of the graphs of G and F. They intersect for the value X equals D. So we get A2 equals the integral from C to D of Fx minus Gx, since now F is the larger one of the two. And uh, A3 gives the remaining integral, so we get A3 equals the integral, the definite integral from D to B of Gx minus Fx. So we want to have the total, we want to determine the total of the three areas. So A1 plus A2 plus A3 equals, well, A1 equals the integral A to C of Gx minus Fx, but this, of course, can also be written as fx minus gx if only we take the absolute value, right? In this case, if gx is larger than fx, then we just would put a minus sign in the integrand. So we will get g of x minus fx. And the similar, similar thing holds for a2, since a2 is, well, fx minus gx is larger than zero, so we can write the absolute value of fx minus gx as well. And the final part, if you look at the integral from d to b, where g is, uh, gx is larger or equal than fx, then we can write the absolute value again. Now we can glue these parts, a, the integral from a to c, from c to d, and d to b. Of course, it's the same thing as taking the integral from a to b of the absolute value of fx minus g of x. So this gives the precise statement how to calculate the area enclosed by two graphs if we don't know what the intersection po points of intersection are exactly and which function is above the other where and when, then we still may um, have a general formulation of this area enclosed in between the lines x is A and x is B, in between the graphs F and G.